companies are showing a growing interest in additive manufacturing. They not only want to know more about applications that use new technology, but want to know more about how they can gather knowledge about the additive manufacturing process of the technology itself, and mainly about additive manufacturing processes using metal. That's why Cirrus has decided to bring its state-of-the-art additive manufacturing knowledge together with its subtractive machining knowledge and its knowledge on industrialization. All this knowledge will be integrated and demonstrated in the production chain of the AM Integrated Factory for our customers. This means that when they visit us to learn more about individual processes, they will also see how these can interact and be integrated with one another. We've learned that companies need knowledge on industrialization and integration to realize a stable, first-time right production. It will enable them to start using additive manufacturing technology in their production environment. To demonstrate what an AM integrated factory is able to do, we will produce a watch. This allows us to demonstrate the specific technical aspects of different combined technologies. All things are brought together in a demonstrator that is attractive, highly visible and easy to transport. First, we design the products in such a way that they can easily be built and adapted afterwards when needed. From the very first step, we take all production steps from powder build over machining to quality control into account. The additive manufacturing is carried out in a protective atmosphere where we use a laser to build a 3D metal product. A 3D file has been developed earlier and will now be printed layer by layer using a metal powder bed printing technology. This 3D printing cycle is immediately followed by a shot peening step and a thermal treatment in order to release the tensions that are created in the product because of the thermal input by the laser. The first step of the post-processing through machining takes place while the product is still fixed on the building plate by means of support structures. Reference indicators that are printed alongside the product are used to position and align the printed part in the machining center. After post-processing the first side of the product, the support structures are removed within the same machining setup. Afterwards, the product can easily be clicked or taken from the building plate. Now the back side can be machined to final specifications. Here, we can use the reference levels that have been created in the previous machining operation. In our demonstrator, we've selected a coating to add to the product using the PVD method. In this case, it is a chromium carbonitride coating, which is protecting the watch from environmental influences. As a last step in the assembly, we further personalize the watch using a femtosecond laser. This laser erases the two top layers of the coating in order to reveal the chrome layer. This is just a visual effect, but we could also add more functional properties, such as more grip, hydrophobic or hydrophilic characteristics, and so on. This demonstrator shows the broad range of possibilities that integrated additive manufacturing offers, but it is work in progress. We still need more research on how this can be integrated into the digital factory. This means we will require transparency between machines, machines interacting with one another, monitoring and adjusting processes and the transitions between different processes, quality control, agile production concepts. Want to know more about this? Go to our website.